everybody, how are you? Today we're gonna try something. Um, I saw it on a, another YouTube channel. I can't remember which one it was last year. Uh, they made a fire out of great foam stuff and some orange lights. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a cauldron. And then of course they had branches in theirs too. What I've done is I've taken these branches and I took my map gas torch and kind of seared some of the ends a little bit. The good thing about this, what it did is it also tested my smoke detector. That works great. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this project going. So we're gonna get these out of the way. Great stuff out of the way. Lights out of the way. So I've got my screw gun and I've got four little stainless steel screws. I'm gonna screw this cauldron down only reason I'm doing that is because it has been crazy windy. If I just set this on top, it'd probably blow away. So I'm going to screw this down inside, maybe. A little tricky getting those screws to stay on the tip of that driver, but we're getting it done. I'm going to make sure this thing stays secure. That cauldron's not going anywhere. We are done with the screw gun. Now, what we're gonna do, is knock that off. We're gonna take the lights right here. These I was looking all over the place. It took me forever to find some LED lights. So I didn't want to put any of the heavy light or the lights that get hot underneath. What we're gonna do is stretch these out. Test them to make sure it works before we try this. We have lights, awesome. I'm hoping they'll be the same intensity as regular lights. And I'm gonna leave this cord where I can plug another one in out on this back side. And we're gonna wrap these around. So on theirs, they just threw them in a big bundle and started putting great foam on top. We're just going to continue to wrap these LED lights around. I want to get it to the point where both the plug and the outlet plug are on the back side. And now we're going to put the great foam all the way around. To make sure the lights stay underneath the great foam. The great foam is one sticky mess. Kind of grabbed a sharpie here to help push down some of the lights into the great foam. If you ever worked with this stuff, it is messy. We got that done. Now we're going to add some of the sticks that we had. Kind of push them in a little bit, and this will expand and then harden. And then we're gonna do a little bit of painting on it. All right, that's gonna be it for right now. We'll let this go and then we will come back once it starts hardening. Okay, while I was off, I had the camera off, I did a second one. This one's not gonna have a cauldron on it. So this one I'm gonna set aside because our other one is starting to dry or we can start to paint it a little bit. Here it is. You can see this great stuff is starting to dry already. So what we're gonna do is, I've got some <coughs> black primer spray paint. You shouldn't eat the styrofoam or the great stuff. We're going to spray it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna cut it out. Later on when it gets really hard, Cut it out and see how it looks. Or I could paint this all black if I wanted to. All right. So here we're hitting it with the black spray paint. And we're gonna hit it with the red just a little bit. And go and touch up a few spots. All 
All right. That looks pretty good. Here's the uh, second one. I'm not even going to paint this one, I don't think. You ready? I'm going to shut the lights off. That looks pretty good. I don't think we will spray paint that. If we do anything, it'd be a light, light, light. That looks really like hot coals and it's got sticks in it. Sweet! So here's the cauldron outside. Really can't see it with my video. Um, here's some still pictures. Same time. This really looks good outside. I am very pleased with this. Actually looks like hot coals. Thank you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and see you guys on the next video.